Father will bless you. Let your name be exalted in the name of Jesus. Um, this is Battle Against Sons, part 4. We're going to take our text from Exodus chapter 2, from verse 11 to 25. Now, in verse 11 to 12. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their bodies and espied an Egyptian smitten an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. How did Moses get to know that the Hebrew are his people? His mother must have told him everything about his identity before sending him to live in the palace. And on the strength of this, he knew he was not an Egyptian. Based on this, he began to develop love for the Israelites and hatred for the Egyptians because he was not happy about how the Israelites were being treated. The day Moses saw that an Hebrew, you know, that an Hebrew man and an Egyptian was fighting, he took time to study the fight. And when he discovered the Egyptian was winning, he defended the Israelites by killing the Egyptian. To him, he believed nobody saw him because he watched carefully so he quickly buried the egyptian to avoid any trace that could implicate him it was on the second day when he tried to settle the dispute between two israelites that they reminded him of how he killed an egyptian and buried him this made him fear greatly because he never knew somebody was watching this same you know the same hebrew man he was trying to defend began to broadcast his act until pharaoh head at this point he had no choice than to run because if he is caught that can mark the end of his life now moses who moved around egypt as a prince is now out of the land he have to run for safety he was declared wanted by the authorities of the land, so running away or relocating was the best choice. Moses left Egypt and ran to Midian, and in this new location, he sat by a well. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. When these daughters came to draw water by the well, other shepherds who, be, who believed they are more stronger, you know, drove them away but Moses fought for them and they were able to get water you know they were able to get the water they came for the daughters of the priest of Midian described Moses as an Egyptian because of his dressing after they had narrated how Moses helped them to their father the father told them to go back and invite him for a dinner just to show an appreciation when Moses came, they decided to let him live with them since he had no destination at present. Moses, who had no clue of where he was going, not to talk of where he would sleep, got help because he helped some ladies that he did not even know. Sometimes our help is in helping others. It is as we render sincere service to others that our needs will be miraculously met. In addition to this, the father gave Moses one of his daughters with the name Zipporah as, as a wife. You know, by defending seven ladies and delivering them from trouble, the father believed he had what it takes to manage a home. At least, defense is sure. Moses, you know, Moses married and gave birth to a son called Gershom. This name reveals that Moses was a stranger in a strange land. In verse 23 to 25, when the Pharaoh died, the Israelites prayed unto the Lord and 
he decided to look upon their affliction so moses stayed in midian till till the pharaoh who was after his life died he waited until pharaoh mounted the throne you know he waited until another pharaoh mounted the throne before he could step into egypt i like you to remember this the 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 previous pharaoh that was tormenting the israelites died and the other one that mounted the throne also continued to torment the israelites so that means the, the suffering was like a, 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 a generational suffering so as as the as the authorities are handing over power to each other they continue tormenting the israelite god heard the cry of the israelite and he remembered the covenant he had made with their forefathers by trying to help You know by trying to help some strange ladies you know that was the first you know that was the first time moses will see them moses never knew those those ladies i mean the seven daughters of of the median priest but he was moved with you know he was moved with compassion to help them and because he rendered assistance he was greatly helped you must understand that sometimes until you help others the help you need may not come that thing you want god expects you to do it so if you want people to favor you in high places at least in your own little environment try to do the same to people that are around what you do around is what comes to you what you do to others is what you are telling god to do to you that's what it means sometimes until you do it to others you cannot have it so if you want if you want to be forgiven you must first learn how to forgive others a gift you don't use cannot make a way for you the bible says the gift of a man make it a way for him but it is important to note that a gift you don't use cannot make a way for you if you want your gift and your talent to make a way for you then learn to be a blessing to others by using those gifts and talents by helping those ladies he got a wife he got a job he got a house and feeding was never an issue Try doing whatever you want God to do for you to others. If you want God to bless you, bless others. If you want God to bless you, then try to be a blessing to others. True blessings come on the platform of how well we have helped others and have been a blessing to them. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it. The problem of songs that God helped Moses to overcome here are uh, the location the job and the marital choice those are the three major you know mountains that every soul we encounter the first thing is location where do i settle in the next thing is job which job can i do to sustain the family and the next thing is who do i marry the marital choice but in the case of moses these three mountains were subdued by him because he rendered help to others so i don't know who the lord is talking to but the lord is saying that that thing you are trusting him for he will do it when he sees you doing it to others you want god to comfort you then try comforting others you want him to help you then in your own little way try helping others God settled these three major things in Moses' life in less than a month. In any, in any way, in any way your life needs settlement, I pray that the Lord will settle you in the name of Jesus. Any angle where your life needs settlement, receive settlement 
in the name of Jesus.